So this is one that we've been waiting on for a little while now. We're finally going to do the Te Aoro missions, and I guess the first thing we should do is turn on the mission system so we can do that. And I think we got to go like all the way to the beginning and start with the first outpost because that's something that I never did. Is that? Huh. I thought we had to go to this one, but I guess you got to go down there. Well, not going to be difficult if we can fast travel to it and we'll get straight in. I think I might have the voice off, so we'll probably want to turn that on. No caps. No caps are needed. None at all. Alright, let's uh let's do that. Uh you guys will have to back when people used to just call you a hippie. Well alright. Everything's sustainable. Clean, green, eco friendly. Hippies. Ha! Try trailblazers. Okay. Uh so is that a decent volume for the warden? <laughs> I see we got company. Gotta be Josh is doing the prep. I told him to leave things be, but I guess he couldn't resist. It's a little bit anyway, strange. Maybe it's just as well you get used to it. I'll fill you in later. So Right, mate. Yeah. See that camera on the table? Strap it to your chest and let me explain what exactly you're here for. There's a lookout tower not far away, so you can head up there and get a sense of the place while I flap my gums. Do I actually have to do a thing with this? I can't seem to do a thing with this. There nice we go. Tight, you know? Wouldn't want it coming off right when you've got a shot lined up. Okay. Visit the nearby lookout. I didn't even hear her say that. Why does it... That's weird, because you spawn here. I don't know. Either way. I see you, Hunter Man. Right, Ben, thanks for the super chat, by the way. You. The camera will do most of the work. So you She's a very chatty lady. She is. We have a couple of uh, strategic locations on our list to get through. But let's get you that view first. There's the lookout tower just up ahead. You're a little behind there, but that's okay. Um, Once we get into things here, there won't be as much dialogue, but hopefully you guys can hear and stuff okay. I didn't see anybody saying it's like too low, so I think we'll leave it as is. That's nice. Love those doors opening. That makes a whole lot of sense. And hopefully... Wait a minute. Where does it want me to go? Just there we go. Spectacular, isn't it? This eastern area is all rolling hills and conifers. There's a line of mountains in the center of the reserve. Oh, and native beach forest. And a lot of rain on the other side. They probably could have chosen a better lookout than that one as the one where they talk about like right, the so view but you know it's fine uh, this place doesn't receive a lot of government funding unfortunately and a couple of years ago we were running out of money for field research and the outposts were in need of sprucing up running low the outposts have ammo of all kinds and more besides so i guess you could say we made a deal with the devil the hollywood devil to be exact still waiting to know what we're supposed to do short, they've just wrapped up filming for the final movie they were contracted to do some fantasy thing shiny blade or shimmering dagger or something now let me check ah resplendent sword i'll send you the blurb they gave me my nephew tells me it's a big deal but i've certainly never heard of it before this okay this is just going so far yeah, off track all right thanks is, that's how what all's beauty is up on the silver screen for all to see it's come with its here of problems to say the least the big wigs left in a hurry, and we got left with a bunch of basically intact movie sets scattered here and there all over the reserve. Do we get to clean those up? Well, I'm telling you all of this because Josh just rang me up and said that he spotted another set on his way back. Not far from where I wanted you to try filming your first hunt. I only know of one of them. I trouble you to go clear it out. We can't run the risk of any of the props from the film featuring in our footage. Cheers. So, 
some of those actually are... They take away a bit from, like, the immersion uh, of hunting the reserve, so if we get to remove some of that stuff, I'd be quite happy with that. Uh, Warrior, thanks for the super chat, by the way. Been doing good. Hope you have as well. We're gonna try to do some hunting along the way as she has us doing movie set clearing. That's a decent three. I've definitely struggled with Shammy, so we'll see how this goes. Tricky little fella, eh? A lot of work. If at first you don't succeed and all that, you'll get the next one. Get the next one? What is she talking about? Just says reach the movie. I don't know what that had to do with anything. Oddly enough, that's not one I've been to. You can see that area's all darkened out. <laughs> we'll give that a look. Is Tay Auro worth the money? It's a good map. I mean, a lot of people really, really like it. The Sika Deer are cool. The Shammy are cool. It's a great Red Deer map, actually. And by far, like compared to Hirschfeldon, the best Fallow Deer map. So I recommend it. What's up, Rebecca? I saw that you messaged me on Discord. I did not get a chance to go and respond to that. I was getting everything set up. And Twinkies, thanks for the super chat. Got trolled by a five medium reindeer last night. Oh, I was point one away. Those are the worst. Because reindeer, a lot of times they're, say, we're going to go this way, by the way, just to see if we find anything exploring. A lot of times they're way off. To get that close and then not make it is just big, unfortunate. <laughs> Hunting moose and there with an over-under shotgun for a classic mission. Bit of a pain. Do you have to do something specific or just get a moose there? That's actually not moose. But that is what tomorrow's video is. A little bit of a mission thing on Red Feather to try to hopefully stumble upon some big whitetail. Definitely found a few. Uh, who was that? Acid Remix, thanks for the super chat as well. Uh, Rip was working at my job. Welding did not have a sore throat. As soon as I stopped welding, came back. My boss dropped me off. Now I have to get a COVID test. Oh, hopefully you don't have it, man. Hopefully not. Could be a lot of different things this time of year, so fingers crossed it's something unrelated. It's nice to just be able to talk and not be interrupted by Miss Warden Lady. I don't even know her name. What is her name? I think it says. How do I say that, Kiri? I'll probably forget anyway. Oh, that was something I did want to talk about. Reaction to JJ Watt going to the Cardinals. That NFC West, especially with uncertainty around Russell Wilson. That's going to be interesting to watch. Three bull moose under 30 meters with the blazer over and under 12 gauge. Does it have to be on Red Feather? Because White Rhyme might be a decent place to do that if Red Feather's giving you trouble. It's Kiwi? Yes, just say Kiwi. I got you. I'll say Kiwi then. It's Bill. <laughs> yes, definitely. Only been like 10 minutes. Did I miss anything? We shot one gold chamois. I intend to do a lot of these missions like making sure we go through areas that we don't always go and just see what it leads us to. That's part of why I enjoy doing missions because they do take you places that maybe you'd otherwise like fast travel around or something such as this one. Like I said, this area of the map for me is darkened out. I haven't been there. So there could be say like a feral pig feed zone in there that's good or feral goat would be another one. Likely I've seen them drinking in this area, but we shall see. Best weapon for blacktail deer? Uh, I mean, if you want the best, probably the 7 mil. 30 odd 6 or M1 or 6.5, 270, any of those are going to work good. Yeah, that was, that was the thing I thought as well, bottom boy, because the Cardinals were okay. But... That's not the first team that comes to mind when you think about ring chasing. But how many times has he gotten a huge contract now? Like, he's doing good. How's the McDay going? Not too bad, Tux. Hope yours is going good as well. Shot a troll level 9 water buffalo. They're interesting, the water buffalo. They used to, I feel like, be a little more consistent if you saw a 9 they would make it, but now it's hard to tell. Should I still use the Mosin on deer? I think it's still a little bit inaccurate. I think it's still hitting low and right. It seems, oddly enough, inconsistently low and right, which worries me. But 
Uh, yeah, I, I would avoid it. So I took it to the range a couple of weeks ago just to see. And it was sometimes right on, sometimes like down in the seven ring, low and right. So I don't even know what causes it or what to do to work around it. So I'm just kind of waiting till they fix that. Didn't see nothing, no tracks, no nothing on the way here. Am I gonna have to? What do I actually have to do? Clear away the movie set, right? Oh. Real oranges. Good enough to eat, eh? Interesting. They make you do this. Looks more than a bit incongruous out here, if you ask me. What am I missing? Not this. These are crates already. Guess not that. Something should light up eventually. Oh. I didn't have an actual fire in that thing. Imagine if some silly towny kid had wandered over here and decided it would be a good idea. That's the last of them. What's that note? Props list. Five statue of Hordy Elf standing prow. Nine foam warriors. Eight gold goblets. Three green screens. This reads like a Christmas card. <laughs> kind of does. See any of those? No. This must have been up here. Well, even though this isn't our mess to clean up, I should probably ask around and see if anyone knows what's happened to the missing props. That would be rough, I bottom boy. Need us to get blamed for this. Get out of here, think you're gonna Maybe go for a hunt and just start cleaning swing. up movie sets? I'll see if anyone has a big wig's numbers. Thanks for your help, Eho. Let's move on. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Trying to get through the dialogue, that's about it. Picture I'm perfect. If I know where that is. What was that supposed to do? Take pictures of something? Reach the lake, I guess it'll tell us. There should be in here. Photograph the willow tree. Reach the beach. Inspect the... I didn't even know there was trash here. It's way down apparently on the other end, but I don't have a tent, so... At least we get a moment to... Actually, not listen to her again. What weapon pack is the M1 that's in the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack? Made it to the stream. Glad you can make it. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Getting to... Listen to Warden Kiwi tell us everything. Take a pick of the tree. Is it the one that's out there submerged? Because I thought that was just like... Is it uh, Yukon that's got some of them? I always assumed that was like a mistake. Are you grinding for the Mocha Moose? I mean, it's not so much grinding. It's just a matter of time as, as we uh, do the missions, it'll show up. But I am... I am looking forward to getting it, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it when we eventually did these missions. I've got a plan, so we'll see. What's up with the 8.5 gold geese? Yeah, I really don't know. I wish I did. It's quite frustrating to actually get one that should make diamond according to what it says and just doesn't. I assume it's a rounding thing. It could just be improperly labeled, like maybe it should just say 8.6. I don't know. It's hard to say. Good to know, bottom boy. Yet, yeah, uh, I think it was you that told me, right? These don't take that long to do. We've got the outpost unlocked to fast travel around. So I'm planning on running pretty much everywhere. I don't know that I want to take an ATV. Just for the sake of potentially being a hunt more as we do it. And yeah, I don't want to finish this in an hour and 15 minutes. Hopefully it takes around two hours. Hey, Carmi, how's it going, man? Got my first time in Gensbuck Saturday morning. Nice. Male or female? What was that? I'm glad that I <laughs> was done taking a drink seconds before that because I did not appreciate it. When will the Lodge rebuild stream happen? I think soon. I don't even know, like, 
if I'm gonna do that as an added thing or if that's gonna be a Monday stream I'm really not sure how to do it I think it will be here on YouTube but yeah I gotta think about how we're gonna do that and everything what I really need to do is determine how I can get rid of everything that we don't want to keep so my trophy manager is full of stuff that just we're not gonna be able to put in that lodge and to do it on a stream, there's going to be so much scrolling. I don't want to have to get lost trying to find certain animals. So either I got to put together like three more lodges or get the delete function to work. Wondering why there's no one around? It's because the reserve is officially closed to visitors for the foreseeable future. Uh -huh. And definitely conducting emergency field research, we said. If that's what it takes to get the day trippers to clear out for a hot minute, so be it. I swear I haven't seen this place so deserted in about 10 years. Ah, it's lovely, actually. Even if I can only experience it through you. I like how the all the wardens just lie about stuff. Ooh, that could outside. be a thing. Me and a gaggle of other kids hmm. carrying backpacks bigger than our whole bodies. How much of that lifestyle live these days? 12 million years old, yes. That's me. Fall in now. Wouldn't be the first time that's happened to you. It wouldn't? Eh, I probably have. I want to make sure that the objectives say to do what we're about to do so we don't break things. Photograph the tree. That'll do. Alright. Well. We had some hoon try to soar off one of the branches a few weeks ago. Can you believe? Well, luckily someone managed to talk him out of it. Okay, that Sometimes says 240. We'll have the brides come up and sit on it. Wade right into the water and soak those dear dresses. <laughs> I don't even know if we got that. I think we did. Right. Now for our next destination. Get down to the shoreline. There's a set of huge boulders there that have to be seen to be believed. I hope it's this way. I know what you're thinking. She's showing me some rocks. Oh. Trust me on this one. Well didn't put that tent there to have anything to do with the mission, but that was useful. They're buzzing with fallow deer, and that is about it. She's a chatterbox? She is. We're two kilometers from the mission, please. <laughs> I want to know if that was a... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to head off for a minute and not do that mission for a while. Anyway, I want to know if that was a level 4 diamond champion. It had a very good chance with that estimate. I think it was a Honeytones fur type, which is something that I actually wanted. All the mission people are talkers, but man, it's nothing like Colton Locke on Leighton or Connie on Hirschfeld wasn't that bad. It's, uh, I think starting with Parquet. Parquet was bad. Um, Silver Ridge uh, didn't do a lot of it didn't seem too bad but then I really thought or wait sorry Yukon it didn't do a lot of uh. Silver Ridge the guy didn't stop talking Teoro the guy doesn't stop or the lady doesn't stop talking it's there's a lot lots of lines and I appreciate the fact that they're trying to add to the story and stuff but I wish they'd spread those lines out more and I don't know just give you more missions to do I guess and true thanks for the super chat, by the way. Any big males that I missed? We did shoot a level 4 chamois with a very solid estimate, so... We're going to look for that right now. It could well be a diamond level 4. Those are not too uncommon. So we'll see. You enjoyed the grandpa on Prahunga? I don't remember, so I streamed those the day that came out. I kind of feel like I left the dialogue off for that. I actually don't even know for sure. I barely remember. Like, I know he talked some. I remember some missions. I really can't say how how much I uh, felt impacted by what he was talking. I actually had to mute him. I wish I remembered it. I'll have to go back and look at that stream to see. 
I think Leighton they did just about right, but I also can see wanting to do it differently, so it makes sense. Not a big fan of the go clear over here, click X and the mission is over type missions. Yeah, I mean they're trying to get you to explore the reserve and if they, if every single reserve, is this the one we shot, was it a dark brown? I think we do have this fur type, if that's a diamond then I'm going to be, I mean still happy but <laughs> thought it was something else. Anyway, to go back to that, if every single reserve had like go over here and shoot a buck and then go over here and shoot a doe for X reason, like eventually they'll run out of that. But they could definitely do better, I think. Like go and take a picture of this and then fast travel over here and do that. It's a good way to unlock the... Like all the outposts and stuff, but... I feel you. Printer? Yes. That's the one. You got it. Didn't you and G do a spoof video of Grandpa and the Africa Missions? We did. The Scream Buck? Dude, his song. I had to mute my mic. I was dying laughing when he was singing that. Could that be? It's got big hooks on it. 56.3. That was kind of expected when he was 56 minimum, but... Yeah, we have that for a type, so... Wasn't as I had hoped for anyway. Alright, this will be quick enough. She's probably going to start talking right away. And some thanks for becoming a channel member. Yes, I appreciate that. Anyway, uh, if you're not already in the Discord, make sure you join that and link up your YouTube over there to get the channel member role. Get the good stuff that comes along with that. And enjoy your green name and emojis in chat. Now that I've said that, we can go down here and she can continue with whatever she feels the need to tell us about. Hey, there's a tent. Look at this. Couldn't help themselves, could they? One last hurrah before we shut the place down. This really can't wait, mate. There's a little blue penguin population nesting not far from here, and they'll gladly take this for food. Do I have to clean this okay. up, too? That looks manageable. Let's clean this up and take the photo. Yeah. We can talk hunting again. <laughs> Why is that a mission? Do I have to do anything? It says it's done. Well, as you can imagine, being featured in a host of box office hits has done wonders for our profile with tourists. Problem is, a lot of the people who come are just here to take a few photos, dump a heap of rubbish, and then leave unceremoniously. Uh huh. So we end up with messes like this one. I think I have a set of burrows around here. The victim of our own success, but that's letting me off the hook. Right, there should be a stand over on the other end of the beach with rubbish bags and a picker. Wait. Maybe I'm not done. Thought I was done. <laughs> Should have considered that they wouldn't let me off that easy. Uh, Fuber Operations, thanks for the super chat. Shoot a big one. We're going to try. We did get a good size uh, shammy a minute ago. We went to all the trouble of installing these and they still couldn't be bothered. What do you expect, though? These kids would have nightmares if you showed them some of what I've seen out here. Just a hat. Stomach's so full of plastic they can't eat. Okay. Uh, Way too many people around here who have never respected this place. That's a perfectly usable tent. No sense wasting it. So set it back yeah, up, well, alright. enough of this. And we need to ensure that we're attracting the right kinds of tourists. Not I see you, bottom boy. From Christchurch out on their school holidays. I'm glad you said that, because I was going to leave again. It's okay for people to come here and leave no trace. But it'd be better if we could rely on them to help us with our conservation goals. So hunters seem like the natural target. What was that? I don't know. Our deer and goat populations need constant culling. And you better believe I have more faith in people who love the wilderness to respect the place than kids up to no good. Uh huh. At the risk of sounding like an old. <laughs> <laughs> she speaks so much she speaks <laughs> over herself. Let's do what we came to do and grab that photo. Yeah, what am I taking a photo of? The rocks? Cool. Oh, thank you. I tried real hard. <laughs> A lamp loving moth. What a name. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you. Birthday is on Wednesday. Xbox just broke. Shoot a diamond for me. I'll try. And happy early birthday. Hope you have a good one. All the above. What's going on, man? When people first arrived in New Zealand, 
they took their staple crop with them. Kumara, otherwise known as sweet potato. Uh-huh. Unfortunately for them, the weather in this country... Why are we hearing about this? ...conducive to growing much, and the tubers withered and died. So they sent word to the Polynesian homeland, and a canoe set sail with a hardier crop. But it was caught in an intense storm uh -huh. just off the east coast. Each wave that struck it was so large that it made a new hill. Those are the ones you'll see further inland, and all of the cargo went overboard. And that's what these boulders are. Petrified kumara, eel baskets, calabashes. The canoe itself formed the uh -huh. region. Moral of the story? Things have long shelf lives. A lesson I wish someone had taught those kids. Right, feeling warmed up? It's kinda, yeah. Good. <laughs> it's time for you to show me what you can do. Just a little bit. 30 minutes to listen to you talk, mostly. Um, Floppy Reynolds and Johan, thanks for the super chats. Then you should have everything you need. Camera's on. We're, we're live. Don't even worry about it. You told me to tell you that it's state of the art, equipped with Wi-Fi. So any footage you grab is automatically uploaded to our server. Wi-Fi is what I thought it was as a kid. I'm entirely sure what that means, but I guess I'll be able to see it on here. Sure. No pressure then. All right. Uh... Got me in the call the while. That's good to hear, man. I'm glad. I gotta go back. Hopefully. And. Are you done? My guess is no. that some townie thought it'd be a hoot to grab them for their crib. But I'm not keen on the idea of someone wandering around when we're supposed to be closed to visitors. Right. Anyway, nothing you need to worry about right now. Just focus on those killer shots. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Yo, and thanks again. Uh, first chance you get come and hunt in South Africa. Might happen one of these days. You never know. We'll see. This person never stops talking, clearly. Okay. Where are we even going? We just gotta get an animal over 30 kg at 7 a.m. I mean, chamois would be the obvious choice here. I think if we just go right here. Should be very doable. Tanner, thanks for the super chat. I got a Springer Spaniel puppy, and I'm gonna train him how to shed hunt and bird hunt. That sounds like a good idea. Should be fun. Finally. That was a really, really long tail for basically go shoot any animal on this map that's not a rabbit or a turkey. Or the parquet warden would get along so well. That's what I was thinking. They probably would. Can't see anything from this side. Been a while since, uh, since we've shot any chamois at this lake, so could be good response here. We had the one at the last spot. Any of these should do, but I mean, we'll make an effort to actually shoot a big one. I swear one of those that we spotted actually was decent. I guess none were super special. Nothing huge. I swear that parquet one was a serial killer. Well, they, they gave some evidence of uh, such things. Are any of these even remotely good size? As we back up, more might start to spawn in. That's a maybe leucistic one? Nah, it's not. Well then, guess we'll get the male wherever he was. Halfway behind a tree. And he's gonna get the seven mil. For the sake of speeding things along, I'm shocked he took that so well. I do like them adding lore and making the people seem more three-dimensional and not just a robot, but she talks way too much. Yeah, I wish there was just, like, more that they would give you to do. Like, having to sit and wait for her to complete telling you about a mission for several minutes. Especially, like, that last place I went off to go shoot rabbits, then she wanted me to go back, then I started to do it again, and had bad, bad boy, <laughs> bottom boy not already told me that I had to stay and take a picture, 
I would have left again. I get so jealous you can hold down the button to spot multiple animals. I didn't even know that was a thing. Gary told me about that. Had I not been made aware, I can't tell you how many diamond ducks and stuff that I would be missing because I just wouldn't have made that one swipe across to spot them all. Anyway, prepare for more dialogue. Actually, I'm going to wait. Just a second. Yeah, I'm using the Argus scope. There we go. Uh, Caitlin, thanks for the super chat. Did you finish all the Silver Ridge Peaks missions? We did. We did a stream for them as well. Hmm. Not to worry. Well, uh, we'll fix that one up in the editing process. Are you saying that I didn't do good? Around here think that hunting's heyday peaked in the 70s and 80s. Back when you'd get scores of daredevils out in helicopters gunning down dead three at a time. That's not the done thing anymore. For a whole host of reasons. But these days, we need hunters more than ever. Nice, David. And I'm glad I have you on board to help us show the world that. Reach the outpost. It's nice when we fan can fan fast fan travel. Fan. I've got a fan? Uh-oh. Uh Did it again. We were a small community of outsiders living in sick with nature. No running water and only whatever electricity our generator could provide. Josh gave me a hand posting some footage from your hunt to the reserve chat group, and it caught the eye of our resident sharpshooter, Melanie Murphy. A battery pack. People from down in the local town used to call it a hippie commune, but I've never liked the term. It was about sustainable living, first and foremost. We weren't just there to not shower and sing kumbaya all day. But oh, Melanie to get out for our hunt. Oh. Kind of breaking things a little bit. A sharp to boot. So when I say the place is part of me, I mean it. Mum's family can trace their lineage here to the 14th century, and we've accumulated a lot of stories over the years. I can tell. <laughs> You're making that clear. One of the choppers came down with us in it. I injured my leg. Some of those are about an animal that holds a special place Okay, bottom boy. Park here, I mean European settlers, released moose here about a hundred years ago. And there haven't been any confirmed sightings since the 1950s. Is this where that comes in? I won't go into it, but we should never have taken off that day, and Melanie knew it. But I swear to you, I saw one when I was little, staring straight at me out of a hazy morning mist. Ever since then, I've been determined to prove that they're still here. This is the first time that I'm, like, exactly genuinely interested. Each other, but not much else. Even written a book about it. Or am writing a book about it, I should say. I can't give it the conclusion it deserves yet. Anyway, my mum always told me to let bygones be bygones and all that. Melanie's a better hunter than I'll ever be. Advanced age notwithstanding. Turn it off. You're welcome. I don't hold out much hope anymore. But I've got a few trail cameras scattered here and there. Usually just throw up deer herds and the occasional teenager behaving badly. But they're pretty low maintenance. I had no idea that I set up my uh, tripod so close to one of them. I don't have the red deer collar. We're like halfway there, and she's just now telling us to do that. So, without the collar, I don't like our odds of actually finding this stag. Yeah, pretty tiny. Not gonna worry about that. But, uh, yeah. There was a little more interesting lore behind that one. Did I see... Hey, mistress. How's it going? She's like me, talks too much. I mean, relatable, I suppose. Think you're near the moose, mi moose mission? It sounds like maybe. Why she talks so much? All the above said turn it off, but then that really just kind of kills the immersion of the whole thing, so... Oh, listen. Trail games and Call the Wild. You know, 
This is the second or third reserve that's had Trocam missions. Maybe eventually. Hey, TTB. I don't even see the trail camera that's supposed to be here. Oh, they just... I guess it's not strapped around the tree. Cheers. That should keep it going for another few years. Can you check the other cameras while you're here? Might give you some stalking suggestions, if nothing else. Do they show me pictures? If they do, that would be pretty cool. Or that as trawl cams? Yes. Do you think they'll add dogs or trail cameras? I mean, the fact that they have the trail camera missions kind of makes me wonder, because back when Yukon Valley came out, there was a mission that specifically referenced the 22 pistol, and that was in the next uh, weapon pack, so we might see that. And as for dogs, they did an entire survey relating to dogs, so I just gotta think it's a matter of time. There we go. See? Now, if they could, uh, do something like that, I'm not sure how you... Because you'd have to be rendering the stuff, I think. It would probably take up some extra resources. It may be doable. I don't know. Another few years. Well, if she's getting one picture every few years, it's, it's all good. Is this one going to have more than one picture? <laughs> Why did... Okay. It's not the way I would have faced it. A very blurry turkey. What was the date on that? I'm gonna look on the next one. Alex, thanks for the super chat, man. Appreciate you. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice. Like, we've talked about it. I might make a video, like, trying to explain how I would see trail cameras used in this game. Just, just for fun to get the conversation going again. Because I would love to see it. It would be a lot of fun to be able to have that level of immersion. Like, okay, say that red deer the call back there. I don't hunt in this area much. Maybe I place a trail camera... I don't know, here, because I have a fallow drink zone. Red deer don't drink till night. I don't really care to hunt it in, the, in the dark. Leave a trail camera there. See if a big one uses that area. Just killed a diamond moose watching your stream. Nice, man. Very nice. I want to see what that said, because I'm interested what... Like, if they have it set in a certain time, or if it's just a date they chose. Okay, this has to be Fallow Deer, right? Oh. Oh, interesting. Last year, I think, with that date form. So, a river runs through it. What are we doing now? Love your vids. Thank you. I wish I could swim in this game. I don't even know where that is. I remember being there. Unless you'd rather climb over those mountains. No? Didn't think so. Two kilometers. Oh, that's one that we're gonna actually have to cover some ground, but... I think there's red deer and turkey over in here, and again, an area that I haven't spent a lot of time in, so... The hope is, with a thing like this, we could go straight down that way, but... The hope is, going through these places that we don't tend to go, then hopefully we find something good. Got on the bus and saw the... Well, we'll go with the cooling your notification. That's definitely it. Funny that you gotta go physically check cell cams, but it's different and pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know why they actually put the antennas on there. If you have to go and check them anyway. But yeah, uh, if you were to... Eat, like, you could do it either way. I think just to not make the game too easy. They probably shouldn't do cell cams, but if you were to have to go and physically check them, that would be just one more layer of stuff you have to do that keeps it from making it too easy. 
Are you guys going to stop? I don't know why I care about using the proper weapon, actually. Let's just... If we can... Maybe have a guilt respawn. I think we got him good enough. Started up 40 minutes ago, we did. You were swapping batteries? Well, we didn't swap batteries on the last three, although I guess we were checking... She said check them. Were we checking the pictures, or were we checking the battery? Did we hit that? We did. Technically, it could be a diamond. I have yet to kill a diamond turkey on Te Aoroa, believe it or not, so... That's something else maybe that could happen going over through here. Why don't you use the ATVs? I mean, part of my goal with this stream is to actually hunt the areas that we have to go to and not just fly around and do the missions. My cousin has one of those cell link cams in real life, and half the time the thing wouldn't send the pictures anyway. My cousin has one that does pretty well for him. I think it depends on, like, the area you're in and... I don't know what they actually use to send them. Whether it's... Well, yeah, I don't know how those would work, but I'm sure different areas would produce different results. Kyla is the boss? I agree. Kyla's in charge. We're just here. They should add Northern Lights to Yukon? Don't they have a mission that uh, shows them? The amount of 4.5 level 2s, by the way, that I've had is getting quite high. And vertebrae does good enough. So some respawns for next time we're in the area. Had to get some sort of signal booster that was an extra 90 bucks. Could almost get, well, actually you definitely could get another like mid-tier camera for that price. Yeah, you're right all the above. There is a data plan thing. I want to definitely look into that more though, because my brother kind of runs the trail cams if uh if I could word it that way for us he just I don't know why but he's always uh been the one to go and get the cars and stuff so a lot of times obviously he's going into those areas and whether you take precaution or not you're gonna leave some like sign there that might slowly drive deer out if you had just set up the camera and leave and just have that, uh, you know, if it just sends you the pictures, you're at least better off in that aspect. We'll see, anyway. Killed a moose today? Nice. Is this the one? <laughs> no. Even smaller. Uh. At least we're getting turkeys. There might be rares over this way, too. Could be a thing. I forget, we killed a rare turkey early on when this map came out, but... I don't know if that was single player or not. Uh, Drew, thank you again. I had a trail camera that sent the pics to your phone, and it started raining one night, and I woke up and had over a thousand notifications. Follow the river west, and you'll eventually wind up at the cave mouth. Okay. Well, anyway, was, the, was it like the wind, or just the rain itself? Was it that sensitive that it was triggering it? That would have been... A little bit annoying. Just got a diamond fallow on Te Aoroa last week. I like the fallow deer. Doesn't matter how many times I see level 5, they still look just massive and impressive. They're always cool ones to run into. Are you going to kill animals today instead of just doing missions? It depends on how long the missions take us to do. I really don't know, like, how long it's going to take to complete the entire set. But, like, you know, the turkeys and the goats that we're getting in between are part of it. Is a light gray turkey rare? Light gray. Are there light grays? There's light brown. That might be what you're talking about. Um, they're... I think they're technically supposed to be rare, but really all the different variations for turkeys. The light brown, albino, leucistic, 
Melanistic maybe is a little more rare, but all of them I think are too common. Uh, Levi, thanks for the super chat. You're my uh. favorite YouTuber. That's all I had. Well, thank you. And H-Bomb as well. Appreciate you, man. Learning what bow is best in Classic. The snake bite's one of the best now. It's very quiet. It's pretty, like, flat shooting, so you don't need necessarily a rangefinder. If you don't have a rangefinder and you have the snake bite, listen for the animal's footsteps. It's under 30 meters at that point. Then you're pretty much good. If you have a rangefinder, uh, the pin is for 20. But like I said, it's pretty pretty flat out to 30 or 35. They're supposed to be light grays, but they don't spawn. Yeah, the ones that were originally shown, you're right. Just joined, did I miss anything? A level 4 chamois that was close to diamond, and a level 2 uh, turkey that was close. You know what? I think we went through here, didn't we? On, uh, like, the release day stream? We were here. I remember being here. Maybe not even the release date. Maybe the creator beta. One of the two. I almost didn't like the stream. That would have been an absolute tragedy. Got a diamond red deer the other day. 251. Nice. Most animals, if you say what the trophy rating is, I would know what the rack is, but it seems like red deer could be either one. So do you happen to know if it was the, like, bigger or smaller rack for a diamond? Do we gotta go all the way through here? I would like to just not do what she said, but I feel like somehow that would bug it out, so I'm gonna do exactly what she said. So much for a nap? Wait. I missed something, I think, as far as the nap goes. Is there an animal in here, by the way? Make it out of Crack River Cave. I think we went all the way through here. Yeah, it comes out right by this lake. I do remember doing that. I definitely do. Welcome to the cave. Why, thank you. Should have brought the quad. Eh, that's just noisy, though. Is there a mission that you're trying to do for that, Billy? I bet you've single-handedly boosted the popularity of this game. Literally the voice of the hunting simulator community. I mean, maybe some. I'm just happy to hear, like, when people find the game through, like, this channel. That's always a cool thing to, to see that people, like, hopefully find a game they actually enjoy. I gotta assume that side of it. Just, you know, through making videos. What did Wolverine say there? When I did this mission, I was halfway through the tunnel and it teleported me above ground. I had to run from the other side back. I hope that I don't find whatever location does that. Was it deep water by chance? Because that actually would make a lot of sense. I could see that doing it. No worries, Rebecca. Killed 500 plus red deer, but still no diamonds. I feel you. I'm on Red Fox with it, but I think I'm 315 is the last I grinded for him. No diamonds. The heck is that? A little raft? Is that relevant to anything that's happening here? I guess not. Weird that it is there. Chess says hi. I don't know if she can hear me, but hi, Chess. How to get the Canning Magnum 300. If you buy the Yukon Valley DLC, that'll get you the, uh, the ability to buy the 300 in the store. Run through the water, but it wasn't deep. I think I'm still going to do my best to not fall in. <laughs> going to really afford it now that you said that. That's got me... Worried about that happening. I know we did it the first time with no problems. A 
Kyla loves buffalo more than fallow deer. They love her more anyway. You can ride that raft. Through all the shallows. What trophy rating do red deer require to be diamonds? I think it is 251. It used to be 249, but I think they upped it. Just got a piebald male mule deer yesterday. Was it the cool looking piebald? Like these rocks? No. A little further. What is it? Yeah, it's a little cave painting. This is why I live here. Go ahead. Get as close as you want. Just don't touch it. Touch. See the cracks in the surface? <laughs> it's limestone. Notoriously unstable. Glad I just These headbutted it. paintings aren't going to be here forever. But I've made it my mission to ensure that we do everything we can to keep them around for as long as possible. It's like Josh need to learn their history, right? It's part of what it means to be human. Knowing you come from something else. Someone else. Has she said, is Josh her son or something? What? It means technology, <laughs> but also to place in layers. And those layers link us all. I was unprepared for that. Up in the ground, bird or human or rock or deer. Didn't anyway, even sound like a word. That's enough philosophizing for me. Let's get you out of here. How could you touch it? I just wanted to see if I could paint my nose with it. Shammy. You know, if you put a tent in here, I don't think, like, they'll still hear you. But it could be such a strategic way to uh, get to this lake and smoke everything without them knowing you're here. Josh is her nephew, gotcha. I'm sure she said that, I just wasn't listening. Just got a diamond blackberry, but I didn't hit a vital organ. Ah, oh, man. That happens. Happens a lot. Just gotta head out and hope to find another one. If you're on Silver Ridge, by the way, there's quite a number of them out there, so I think you'll I'm get sure more. Never, been so happy to lay your eyes on the Kiwi never in my life. Stretch those legs. Nothing like wandering <laughs> through a dead, cramped cave to give you a new lust for life. As we sprinted through the entire oh. thing. I hope you're not too worn out now. I'm equally worn out as I was before. I mean, as if I have a choice. Let me explain. The beech trees here form one of the finest examples of native forest in all of New Zealand. Mm -hmm. In no small part due to the efforts of our resident conservationist Marama. We just had a last year when they seed like crazy. And this means plenty of food for mice and rats, which in turn means plenty of food for other small pests. Beginning to see the problem? When the rats run out, those small mammals prey on native bird species, the pesky critters. I see. We've used aerial TNAD poisoning to stave off the worst of them. But to slow their reintroduction, we need to get out Oh, did it really, bottom boy? Lay down a few traps ourselves. I can't hear it, so I didn't even know. It's time sensitive work and. Unfortunately, Madam is feeling a bit crooked had to stay home today. Can you take over for him? She's yeah. to see the target site. Anytime, yeah, we can do that. Observation here is a constant tit for tit against these invasive mammal species. Is there anything? Are only indigenous mammals no in terms of bats and some marine species? Everything else is a pest to a lesser or greater extent. I'm not sure it's faster to go to the lodge. Tenady poisoning isn't without its naysayers. But it's one of the only tools we have to help protect the uniqueness of this place. Um, Everson, thanks for the super chat. Hunting helps too. How's the stream? It's been I good. I want to go back to the days of the helicopter wars. But having recreational hunters here year round would go a very long way. We do have to sit through a lot of dialogue, but we're moving along. I'm not really sure uh, at what point we're going to be to the moose mission, but I assume we're getting there. What does it look like? Yeah, I mean, we've moved through a fair number. Your favorite expression? It's fantastic. Hey, Lady Legend. How's it going? What have I missed? 
Lots of dialogue, a couple of decent kills, nothing huge, and uh... There's a Sika Deer coming in. I've been... Yeah, I, I haven't gotten a Sika Drink Zone here since... Maybe at all on the actual uh. release version? I know I had Bucks here on the like creator beta, but those were just those anyway. This makes me re... I feel it. Most talking I've ever heard on a map? I think it has to be, right? The Silver Ridge one was a little bit like that as well. Twinkies, thanks for the super chat. Uh, gotta go, sadly enough, but it was great to be in the stream for a bit, so here's some more support from me, but have a good day. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your day as well. Maybe we'll catch you in the next stream. Stream's popping right now. Everybody wants to see that moose. The amount of times I've been asked in streams and comments and on Discord, have I got that moose yet? I've been waiting. Waiting to make sure that everybody has at least had the chance to go and do the missions and if they want to avoid spoilers, could have gone and done them. So, finally, finally going to do it. <laughs> no bottom blades bad. Wrong route to take. There's the box. Four should do as long as you cover enough ground. Cutting edge Kiwi technology, these. Self resetting and all. Hmm. That looks like as good a spot as any. Should be simple to set up. Just install the mount and clip the trap body into place. Two down, two to go. Good math. The birds will thank you for this. I'm sure they will. Just finished an English essay, so now I can watch the stream. Good work getting your uh, priorities in order. That's all of them. Top notch conservation work, Eagle. Why, thank you. Oh, one final thing. Oh, jeez. You can take down the 1080 warning sign. Any animals that haven't already kicked the bucket should have metabolized it by now. So it's safe to hunt in the area again. Doesn't even have a hitbox. Hold on just a second. Are you seeing what I'm seeing on the ground there? Oh. These tracks aren't particularly old, eh? I hadn't expected uh. to deter everyone, but it's not exactly an optimal time to go for a stroll in the bush. Oh, one second, Josh is ringing. Feel like checking out with Elite? So, I remember this being posted in Discord, and I wondered if it was right. just... Sorry about that. Where are they taking you? <laughs> you gave me 12 seconds to talk. I'm going to just sit here a second. I wondered if it was, like, some kind of just glitch or something, but... That looks awfully tar-like to me. Tar confirmed? Yeah, that's what it looks like, right? It's interesting. Um, Gavin, thanks for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate the support. Let's just uh, cut off a bunch of distance here. I hope this doesn't bug the mission out. Would most certainly assume it's just simply... I love how they show, show up from miles away. But I assume it's simply a matter of arriving at the endpoint. Those images are tar. It looks that way. Why is it so loud? What is that about? Someone was clearly having a bad time of it. Munted, high, both. Just going around in circles. The fastest phone call ever for someone so happy. Yeah, you think she uh, would have had more to say. What's your favorite map? It's gotta be Leighton. I still like antler species the most, and Leighton's got, I think by a couple, the most on one single map, so that's definitely it for me. How far does this go? What's that over there? Ah, there's a bow. Like it's right out of resplendent sword. Surely they didn't. Shot it right in the back leg. Oh, where? Poor thing looks like it's been torn to bits. Is that a handmade arrow? Oh, it's got shot a bunch of times. And to top it all off, there's heavy rain. Uh. Perfect bloody timing. There's an outpost not far. Why don't you take shelter there and see if there's any more clues as to what we're dealing with here? 
Uh, Carmi, thanks for the super chat and joining the live, making my day go quicker. Good to hear, man. Uh, boss watching is possibly going to get the game. That's cool. I hope he does. Hope he gets it and enjoys it. Back to the outpost. Apparently looking for clues. You'd think they'd have a better control of who's getting in and out of their outpost, but I guess these people were supposed to be here. Look pretty good to me, bottom boy. <laughs> That's what I should have said as soon as I saw the arrow, but it didn't. Didn't hit me. Oh my goodness. That freaked me out a little bit. Do I do anything with it? Am I supposed to? Now we know where our pickup truck went. Glad to see the back of it. Must have left in a real hurry. Can you put the signs back up at least? How do I do that? Oh. Uh, yeah. I think that's as good as you're going to get a looking. Looks looks great. But look at me talking. You're so tough to death. Get inside and I'll fill you in on what Josh told me. This is where mine went berserk. Alright, we're gonna cross our fingers that things uh, work to plan. Hold on, we're gonna wait on the super chats for a second because I'm sure she's gonna talk to us. Um, Prox, thanks for the super chat. Or Pro X, possibly. Every time I try to go to my lodge, it crashes. They, I thought, fixed some lodge issues, but uh. I'm actually not aware of any doing that right now. I would just contact support because I definitely don't know anything about that one or how to fix it and Caitlin thank you again favorite animal to hunt I think wolves I like that they uh, can go aggressive and stuff do I just oh, wait inspect right inspect please tell me that's not what I think it is it is that's where our poor little deer ended up it must smell vile Literal bloody heck job. Literal. What else am I supposed to be doing here? Is there more to... I guess somewhere. Someone's been making themselves at home. Mm hmm Right. So I had the nephew track down that license plate number. And our props burglar is none other than a local menace by the name of Gad Barden. They're all Bardens. <laughs> Every it's time. A whole social media empire under the moniker of Gira Ross Blessing. Blogs, YouTube, quick videos, uh. with exclusive behind the scenes shots from on location movie scenes. Snake, thanks for the super chat. And guess what? It definitely could. It definitely could. Sword Man. Got heaps of photos from all over the reserve, I thought, here. His latest blog entry is quite something. Salutations, followers and friends, blah, blah, have been out of contact, lost my way in the ever-shifting forests, foul supper left me ill some nights. 1080 poisoning. He's lucky to be alive, the muppet. <laughs> Let me send you the link. Uh, usually get Josh to help me out with this. <laughs> there, check your hunt, mate. I'm waiting. Okay. Do I actually have to... They have a little scroll bar. Look at that. Hey, the hunter game. Yeah, they gotta fix that. The lions look so bad. Anyway, he's an absolute bloody idiot, but I'm glad he's alive. This could have gone so much worse, and it's my own stupid fault for allowing them to film you. I just hate seeing the place disrespected. It's not just the bush, it's my home. I grew up a stone's throw from here. No one's around anymore, but you're welcome to swing by the old house once the filming's wrapped up if you're still in the area. I assume I will be. I'll someone by to clean this up later. Let's get back on track. Alright. Can we like shoot something? Sure, you've seen plenty of fancy castles on your travels, but I guarantee you they're nothing compared to where I'm taking you next. I assume it's up here. We're gonna do some hunting out by Stone Castle Valley, a limestone formation not far from here. Reach Stone Castle Valley. Uh, 
trying to figure out which way to go. I guess we'll cross over here. Gonna see a whole ton of Sikadir does because for some reason, only does spawn up here. I like how I'm doing parkour while she's talking. I'm trying to come up with something to do, you know? You think Call of the Wild will get more multi maps in the future? I'd be shocked if, if it doesn't. It might be that I'm in the minority, but I feel like multi mounts are, or the trophy lodge in general, is one of the biggest, like, things to do in this game. The biggest thing to work towards completing. This is the mission that's bugged, or for me it is. Alright, we'll definitely do things step by step as she says, just to make sure. She talks more than Aaron did in the 24 hour stream. Yeah, Aaron's a 30 second hunting story that took him 27 minutes to tell. That's what it is. I think the pipe open order looks the best. I have one 299. Nice. Is that on the new system? Like, since they got their true rex? Because if so, that's a pretty big one. Is level 7 diamond grizzly bear normal? That would be hacked. They gotta be level 9. Could you please show how you have so much cash or how I make so much cash? Um, it's just been through like thousands of hours of play. We're at 30,500 harvest, so it adds up. If you want to make cash quickly, though, I would recommend Goose Hunting. It will pretty quickly add up. Well worth the investment. Literally 30 minutes, yes. Do you have to do the missions to get money and stuff? No. Um, I don't think there's any map that... Yukon's the closest thing to having a required mission. Because there's an outpost that you don't get unless you've done the mission. Everything else is entirely optional. That's a seek a bug track. What? I didn't know there were any up here. Okay, uh, slight, slight thing. It's a black fur type, so I'm not super, uh, interested in that specifically, but I kind of want to know if we can find it. It can't take long. It's their drink time. Lots of disturbage all in a row just now, so he's got to be right in front of us. And they're short little creatures with not that uh, fast of a running speed, so I'm guessing if we already spooked him, he should be just right here. There he is. Just a four. I don't know what we hit, but it works. Should play with Fooster and Taco? Maybe someday. You never know. Near the water is ridiculously loud. Ooh, right in the neck. That's what I was going for, but didn't think it was going to happen. I am not a fan of how loud that gets. The rain's fine. It was on the new system with Truex. Yeah, nice, dude. Very nice. Smoked. Do Sika Deer look really good in the Trophy Lodges? I think they do. They're one of the best looking species that can go on the smaller plaques as well. So I'm quite happy to have whatever it is, like the five or so diamonds in our Lodge of them. This weather's not getting any better, but yet she's like, yeah, go back outside, it's great. What is that? Not an animal. Oh, there's a <laughs> five old red deer. Should have been looking at that, not the fake animal over there. Well, that's cool. I don't know that I've been up here on my own map. I've been up here on multiplayer. Eh. Pretty small stags, but that was cool enough to run into. More red deer up there? Did I tell you I like rocks? I like rocks. Okay. Piebald, yeah. I don't know if we'll do anything with it, but need enough to randomly encounter. Should we save it? Uh, what can I get rid of? 
I don't know why I even have a random monistic female plane spice, and I don't think there's much I would do with that, so we'll have it if we need it. I think we've got some taxidermized, but why not? The work you're about to have to do would realistically take like two weeks and a whole crew, I think you're getting at. Two works. Do I gotta tear this all apart? Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> Why? Why is that a mission? I don't get it. Well, yeah. That's such an odd thing to do as a hunting game, but... Is this, is this gonna do anything, or am I just gonna click on them and... I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a icon there that's not going away. Maybe that's the location? I hope. What DLC map would you recommend? Um, if I had to just recommend one? Silver Ridge Peaks or Parque Fernando. Over on Savannah, actually. What was your first diamond? It was a must deer, actually. Twelve. Follow the trail of props. Why would they be in a trail? This is where you got stuck? Alright, we're gonna cross our fingers that we don't. Why are they in a line? That's such an odd thing. More sick of your tracks. And red deer. Well... Is that blood? No. Just a gas can. Surely not. What? What are those tracks? Tracks. What is she talking about, tracks? Up here? I guess? Oh, I see now. She's got better eyes than I do. That's where you got stuck to? Some of the missions are like that, they don't really tell you much what's going on? I mean, they kind of look like it. Oh, she's gonna be upset. You invite someone into your home and they do this to you. Just an obstacle to be cleared to them. What a mess this has been. Oh, leave the letterbox. How kind of them. Supposed to check that. I didn't even know where it was. Is there something in it? There is. Oh, that was it. Broke it. Well, I hope we can go back and do that. When I get home, I can finally finish the mission. Hopefully, we can finish the mission. Relaunching the game here. I don't know why she's worrying. TK's just riding his four wheeler around. I'm sure he's just, uh, Having an absolute blast on that map, he probably is just ripping around. So there's one of two things, depending on the mission completion requirement. We might get a fresh one, we might have to do that all over again. <laughs> we'll see. Reach the commune? I don't think that was a thing before. It's not where we were. You know, I meant to put a tent up there, and I never did. Game crash, it's all good. I completed it without any issues, wonder what the difference is. There could be so many little things. When there's... When you have a game this big, such tiny little things can end up conflicting. Like, maybe the fact that we shot that red deer, maybe the specific location we shot that red deer, there's just an unimaginable amount of things that could do that.
watching on my phone and TV and the audio is perfectly synced. That's that's not usually uh, the way that goes. Hopefully it stays that way. Sneak into your doze. I'm amazed we shot a buck up here, by the way. I've never seen one in multiplayer, my own map, all doze. Did my missions find on, on PlayStation? It's good to hear. I know PlayStation and Xbox have had issues with both uh, Yukon and Silverage missions. The phone isn't lagging because it's on 144p. Whatever it takes, I suppose. I still don't get that. If you're using mobile data, why it's that low. Or maybe you're not. Are there moose in Te Aoroa? Uh, slight spoilers. If, uh, if you don't want any spoilers, then mute your audio, I guess, for a second, but there is a mission, it's been shown everywhere, and people have asked me so many times if I've gotten it, I figured I'd put it in the title. There is a mission that uh, allows us to take a unique moose. I shot a level 7 albino red deer with the baby hands rack in that same spot doing the same mission. I think I might know what rack you mean. That would be pretty cool, though. Good sized albino stag. Mocha mouse? Yes. Definitely that. So I hope this is completely unrelated and just starting us on the next mission. I'd like to know what that letter was, but I'm sure there was a 12 year long story to go with it, so maybe that was a good thing. What gun are you carrying for the moose? I'm just running with the 7 mil. Not sure how the whole thing works, but we'll, we'll figure something out to do well with it. I don't like that the... What, are they called Sika Does or Sika High? Because I think it is Sika Stag. Well, anyway. I don't like that the female ones like Bugle. Maybe they do that in real life. I don't know, but I'm assuming they don't. Just counting all my diamond mountain lions of pumas, I have 121. Oh my goodness. You are a madman. Twas a letter from Melanie? Okay. So not probably whoever took the bulldozer to the place. More seek a deer does. Oh wait. Is this the same thing over again? Oh yeah, it is. You invite someone into your home and they do this to you. Just an obstacle to be cleared to them. What a mess this has been. I oh, left the letterbox. How kind of them. Okay. Everybody, cross your fingers. Alisa, do what you want with it. Are we good? Yes, I mean that. It's got my name on it, but that's probably just some townie's idea of a funny prank. I have a reputation with them after all. Okay, that was odd. The music didn't even work properly. It says mission complete. Melanie Murphy, it must be. And this... This is my mother's handwriting. She's long gone. Do I do so? A little late on that one. I'm gonna guess she's gonna tell us about all this. Maybe. I had no idea we... They treated people like that. I was only a kid when she left. Lots happened since then, you know? Is something supposed to... It said a thing again. Sorry, cat's got my tongue. It's a lot to take in. Maybe we're good? Tell you what. How about I put the kettle on and give Melanie a call? See where we're at with each other. You head off and get us some more footage. I would like to get I've to hunt something. Had a crew out at Stone Castle to clear up what was left, so I'd suggest starting there. Does that stuff actually go away? Your prime deer species in the area. Why don't you make that your focus? Harvest a deer. Well, good thing we left that, uh, or didn't leave that red deer. Maybe the crash was a good thing, because those red deer should be back. Do you have a Spotify playlist for the songs? I think Epidemic Sound actually does have a Spotify, but I don't because um, the way that I 
Like, I have them individually downloaded. I don't know... I, I almost feel like the Spotify thing for Epidemic Sound is just like a non-stop streaming thing. I can't even say I've tried it, I just think I know of its existence. You can look and see uh, if they have anything on there. Could have shot any of those does, by the way. Not sure why I didn't do that. Suppose we can go back for that if we need to. Where's our hunting pressure? Straight down here below us. Let's see if the red deer is still around. Shot a level 5 fallow deer, but it was the troll. That was, I think, the last level 5 I shot, or at least off my own map. It was also a troll. I feel it. Guess those are the same deer. 250 meters. That'll do. I feel like this is the perfect distance to die. Eh, yeah, we'd have been fine. How'd you rate the Smoke and Barrels pack? One of, if not the best uh, weapon pack DLC you can get. DLCs you can get. Really, Weapon Pack 3 kind of competes because the 30 odd 6 is there and the 22 pistol does pretty well. I would still rather have the 22 long rifle, and that's in Weapon Pack 1, but the other two weapons with that are the recurve and the crossbow. So, really ranking the best, it depends on what you want to use the weapons for. But if you want all around good coverage for everything that's not ducks or rabbits, yeah, smoking barrels all the way. Kyla's making coffee, sounds good. Will you ever make a Call of the Wild trick shots video? I'm not sure what there is to do, really. Are you making a mocha coffee? Clever. Well played. Lovely specimen. You're really a natural at this age. Every time we're supposed to film us shooting something, it's been 250 meters. This might be where we're supposed to be. That's what I've been waiting for. Find the moose tracks. Back the way we came. I like it's in the far corner of the reserve. Thanks for including me. When it's great, thanks for becoming a channel member, man. If you're not already in the Discord and stuff, make sure you join that. Link up your YouTube, get the channel member role. I think you know the drill, but uh, appreciate you, dude. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emojis and everything. Yeah, bottom boy? What is a diamond... Mm, jackrabbit? Whitetail jackrabbit? I think... 6.3 might be the requirement. Shot it with a muzzle loader. We're gonna be rolling with the 7 mil for this one. I'm gonna guess it's just chilling in the area, so uh, with the wind as it is, maybe 300 meters out, we'll start walking just in case. Winners wants them emotes. It's the sketch emote that really brings it all together. Are there moose on this map? There is one mission animal moose, or if you get the one glitch in multiplayer, there can be evidently a second, because I know somebody killed a moose in multiplayer and it was very glitched, but I guess that can happen. Just since we're going to do a thing, I don't want to somehow spook it by shooting a goat, even though I don't think it would. Helping to get you to 250k, I hope. I appreciate it, man. We're not too far off. Probably... I don't know. End of this week, maybe? It's getting very close. 
Gotta go get the 303 first? Wait, what's the 303 for? Are you telling me I need to shoot it with that? I hope not. Somebody shot with a muzzleloader, so I assume not. I'm curious if we're gonna have to track the thing, or if it's just gonna be chilling right there. Cause like, there's a... For Hirschfelden, there are wild boar missions where there's a direction to go like that. And the boar is just standing right there, so... We shall see. That's not the mission for the moose? Aha. Uh -huh. Then maybe we'll run it. I shot the moke and it was a different score than all the others I've seen posted, so do you think it's possible to be diamond or does it have to be a four? I would assume there's like a size that has to be. I don't think it could be a diamond. I imagine people have tried to get that to happen. I don't know for sure. You don't get the moose here? In that case, we'll just run this. Then another mission, then the moose mission. Okay, I got you. Good deal. See, we would have been five minutes later arriving here without that. Good information to have. Appreciate you guys. It's the 303 variant. Yeah, it looks good as well, so... Maybe we'll switch. Maybe we'll shoot him with the 303 then, if that's what's going to happen. You're scored 203? Yeah, I feel like that's about what they're supposed to be. I see tracks. I see a ton of tracks. It's weird how they work. Some of the mission things, it's like they're visible everywhere. Why are they closer together than anywhere else? Looks like a big one. A bull. One I saw was a cow. Must be her son. No records of any antlers in this area. But you don't exactly get many people out looking. Too remote. It's the most beautiful thing ever. One eye on the tracks, the other on your surroundings. I know, I know, you know. And Melanie used to drill that one into me. As we're just running along with slight spoilers. We're stalking. Just crashing through the brush. How many diamonds do you have? Uh, I think we're closing in on 700. 692? Don't imagine we'll be at 700 anytime we're super soon, but we're getting there. Have you killed anything good yet? Nothing super special. Just an odd little tree thing that stopped us. Pretty soon here we ought to get some kind of prompt to stop then. I assume. That's, is that the end of them? Oh, I knew this was too good to be true. If he's lived this long in the reserve undetected that he's not going to give himself up that easily. Right, Air Horn. I think that's your work done here for now. I'll get Josh to set up more cameras around here so we can keep a close eye on things. In the meantime, I can't stop thinking about that letter. I might have been too harsh on people, or at least some people. So I wanted to ask you another favor. Well, there's something in it for you this time, though. Okay. This must be the 303 then that she's talking about. I hope she tells us where to go. I want to repay Melanie for telling me about the moose. I know I have every right to be angry with her for keeping that letter from me all this time. But frankly, it would do the both of us good to move on. And ironically enough, I think the best way for me to do that is to face up to my past. There's somewhere and something I've been avoiding for far too long. Did you find him yet? We should be soon. Going up into the mountains. Is it the chamois land? Two kilometers. Where? No. Oh. Twenty-five years ago, I was working as an assistant to our then warden and going out on hunting trips at the <laughs> We were close at the time. Mum had just left, you know. 
Snicker, thanks for the super chat. Multi mounts, more predator ones would be good. Hmm. I think I want to see more huddle multi mounts. And then, like, uh, bear hug ones for the other bear species. Stuff like that. Have you killed an albino plains bison? I have. Oh, I know where we're going now. Salvaging. I mean, interesting uh, plan to salvage stuff. I haven't been up here to see the chamois actually in the mountains. I always just catch them at their drink time. Didn't even know where they stayed. What's up, Jurassic Gang? Want them to add Whitetail to a new map? I think someday, not too far in the future, we'll see that kind of thing. What moose do you speak of? There's a special animal in the Tay Hour Rule missions that I think after this mission we'll get to see. It should be around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't see it yet, though. Nowhere in sight. Ah, I see. The cockpit. If it had hit the ground at a slightly different angle, we'd have been gone as. Take a look around, see if you can find anything. I found something. I want it. Bingo. That's exactly what I was hoping we'd run into. Melanie's old hunting rifle. I asked her if she wanted it back, but she said it'd make more sense for you to hold on to it. I'm gonna wait till she's it's done too long to click on this. To get up to much hunting these days, the poor dear. I'll have it patched up and sent to your weapon locker. Consider it a bonus for a job well done. Well, thank you. Look around before you head down, can you? Yeah, I'm just waiting. I need to be done. Yeah, that's mine. A gift from my mum, who got it as a gift from hers. I've been missing it all this time. While we wait, we're gonna switch to the laminated 303. Can you drop that necklace off by the nearest outpost and we'll wrap things up? Oh. Josh will head over for it later. I told him he'll never drive my car again if he so much as looks at it the wrong way. I don't think it's labeled where we gotta go yet. I think we're sitting pretty when it comes to hunting footage for the film now. I'll send what we have over to the marketing team and leave the rest in their hands. Still, it's a shame that the moose thing didn't pan out. I've had more than my fair share of false starts over the years, so I knew it was never gonna be easy. They're tricky like that. Well, as they should you be, just I guess. On the desk inside there. We'll do that. A book at least, eh? An ultimate chapter. He yet lives. Okay. Will be happy it's back in the family. I'll be sure to let you know how the video is received anyway. Thanks again. A great job, Ewa. Did she say uh well, how long ago life. that helicopter crash was? Uh. Oh. Did you hear that? Could it really be? It's close. Sounds like just beyond the outpost. Yeah, it's just downwind too. Turn that camera on again. We're not done here yet. Well, it's... It couldn't have gone far. Yeah, I see tracks there. Right, I don't know how this goes, but we're going to find out. Tell them thanks for the super chat. What's one thing you want them to add into the game? Well, we were talking about trail cameras earlier, so let's go with that. I still may make a video specifically 
about them. I'll have to see, I'll have to see if I can uh, think up uh, a way to do that. The wind is just awful for this. Oh, warning call. It's not what we need. Did you guys hear that echo? That was ridiculous. Can the moose be diamond? I don't think so. Does he just warning call forever? Is that how this works? Because he just... Yeah. We're going to scoot along a little bit. I can almost feel how close you are. As he literally calls non-stop. I mean, yeah. Look, mate. I'm a park ranger first and foremost. So I've got to remind you of something. In this jurisdiction, most are considered deer, and deer are pests. You're basically telling me I can shoot Even it. Even if I've got a personal soft spot for the poor thing, I can't fault you for wanting that trophy. Is it on the if beach? You decide not to harvest it. Make sure to at least take a good photograph. That action can't not up to much there. I'll let you make the call. He's just chilling. We know this one's wily. There. To Got the wonky rack, unfortunately. Wonder why he just calls nonstop. That's weird. I was hoping he would be even. I don't think it's the worst of the wonky racks I've seen, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Of course. Old bloke wanted to give us some scenery to admire. Yeah, it is a nice place. Uh, RC and Ethan, thanks for the super chats. Thanks for the amazing content. Uh, how do you get out of a lol playing Call of the Wild or Classic? Usually I just try to switch stuff up. So I'll go to, you know, hunting with a different loadout or hunting with different weapons or just that kind of thing to try to make it interesting again. Let's see if we can heart shot this guy. I'm not sure if he is going to try to leave, but... I hit. Yeah, you don't say. He didn't go anywhere. And what's your favorite animal to hunt and map to hunt on? Advice to give to a beginner? Favorite animal to hunt, I think, is wolves because I like that they can go aggressive. I like seeing them like chasing other animals and that kind of stuff. And favorite map is Leighton because I like antler species such as this guy right here. And I would shoot him now because mine ran forever. Oh, that, that was good information. I hadn't even seen that. Why couldn't they make this guy behave like the wolves from Quattro storyline? The Sombra one gave me one heck of a time on that stream. Hey, there's Sneaker Bucks down there. Where are we? Oh. <laughs> Didn't know he was at this spot. Of all places. It's a nice four. It's actually a very nice four. Stag walking across up there. Don't worry about that stuff in a moment. Kind of dropped him in a good place. I don't want to break things, but... The only chance we'll ever get for such a screenshot. I like it. Alright. You know, he's uneven in a way that actually kind of works. So I don't mind it. I can't fault you for that decision, Air Hawk. Picture yourself bragging to your grandkids about how you harvested New Zealand's last moose. Antlers hanging proudly above the fireplace. You've got the proof. And I've got a story. Final chapter. Last of its kind. Or the spirited adventures of the stoic hunter and the elusive prey. Resplendent sword, eat your heart out. Alright, we're gonna taximize that and which, get out of here. This must be what spoof farted, right? A creature from another world? Just like one of those, uh, things from his movie? Quite the reaction. But then I guess he was still pretty munted. When I spoke to Melanie, she said that there's apparently been protests in town against the films that have been Some of the Kiwi actors involved have cited poor working conditions, things like that. I have to say, I'm glad to it's see a nice that moose it is. around a common cause, even if I can't help but feel somewhat responsible for this whole debacle. Oh, hello. <laughs> but that's over and done with. The important thing is that we're changing. Going all in on what this place needs. I know they even invited me to an advanced screening of the film. I think I'll be not so politely declining. Well, that's that. As I was saying earlier, 
I know you originally came here to get away from it all. So why don't you take that time now and enjoy yourself? Is that officially all of the missions? I mean, it would make sense. Tracks went away. I don't see a new mission activating. Objective complete. Photograph the moose. I mean, we did photograph the dead one. Smoked him. Had to happen. So, now that we got him, now that he made gold and everything, even if he is a bit of an ugly bugger being uneven, because I've definitely seen even ones to look better, my plan is, we have an albino, piebald, and melanistic gold in the trophy lodge, but we also have a piebald silver that I kind of wanted to get out of there. I think we have a perfect replacement for that and still keeping things, you know, varied with the new fur type. Another mission will start soon? Okay. If we're not done, that's all good. Activated by killing an animal. Is it killing or harvesting? Because we've... We've got one down here. I don't think it was the right rack to make diamond, but it technically had a chance. Um, did I... Did I miss something there? Is that like Millie? Possibly? Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. 184, not too bad. Maybe I gotta shoot one other then? We're in the place for it. There's plenty around here. Bunch of does. They might be leaving their zones though. Pretty sure down at this end will be other bucks, otherwise we can go elsewhere. Is Alejandra supposed to be the girlfriend of our adopted senior warden of a Botswana game reserve that we call our character? Uh, I have no idea. Didn't even <laughs> consider such things. I swear we had a chance to spot something over there. Don't know what it was or where it got to, but I guess we'll look for something else. Still don't see anything either, which isn't going to make it easy. There we go. A little buck just coming across. It's also a decent one over there. You want to slow down? That'll slow you down. That's how I got mine to do it. Also, wasn't directly after she ended. Yeah, I'll try yeah, a couple more. Getting the response out here is good, so I am more than pleased to do that. Don't try. It. It's no fun. I think we hit too low on that one, but uh, yeah, this is what I was gonna do if the missions were actually done. How many are there beyond that? Because we're about an hour forty-five in. If there's only another one or two to go, that's yeah. pretty much good. Ethan, thanks for the super chat again. Uh, one, thank you for posting these vids. It's my pleasure, man. I enjoy it. And two, do you think you'll do another beginner series? I may do one down the road. I know Jax the Beer started one up, and when people ask about it, that's kind of where I direct them, because I'm not sure how many hours he has in the game. It's several thousand as well. I know he's got a pretty good thing going on over there, so... Rather than have us both doing it at the same time, I figure I'll just do one, you know, something changes down the line. Not like you get an achievement for finishing them. Yeah, just, uh, if there's more, we'll do them. Does that one do it? Not yet. Wait. Wait for her to get in touch. Travel to the coast. I think, do I have a tent there? I've got a tent just down here. I wonder if being in the area will do it. I like it tells us what we have to do, though. And that's an area we could potentially find some feral pigs. So what we'll do is make it early morning. I still want to get diamond feral pigs. I only have the one. Did I miss the moose? Uh, unfortunately, yes. I think we shot it maybe five minutes ago if you want to go like back in the fought best red your spot 
Um, if you ask me, it's the northeastmost lake on Quattro Colinas. Thought that was a red spot. There we go. Having a great time. I hope I'm right. You've had the chance to wind down and take it in after all that excitement earlier. Got a couple of updates for you. First and foremost, we released the promo film a few days ago. It's been wild. Phones ringing off the hook, kind of wild. In fact, we're almost fully booked for the autumn season already. There we go. I should be celebrating, but I've been sitting in my office, laser focused on how we're going to keep day tripper numbers down. We're not legally allowed to charge an entry fee, and quotas are hard to enforce, so maybe the solution is an outreach. Give those not know students a taste of the work we do here. Oh, Kyla's technology is done. Don't even make conservationists out of some of them. Anyway, the film's up, but we're still working on some final touches to the website. And the marketing team had a request. There's an old lighthouse by the coast that they'd like a few shots of. Am I right that it's this one? Can you head over there and I'll it could be that, too. Else that's been happening. Hey, I was right. So, the bloke with the antlers. The firm we hired to do the promo film has gotten in touch with one of the big online networks, and they're up for the idea of turning your moose chase into a documentary. I'm still working on my book, but I'm thinking this could be a good accompaniment. You've seen the show, now get the details straight from their moose's mouth. Oh, of course, they want to use your footage, and maybe even get an interview. You keen? Oh, yeah, I'd love to give an interview. Opportunity to raise your profile, and though I get the feeling that's not something that matters all that much to you. <laughs> that's why I like you, Airhawk. What you see is what you get. Ruby's looking over. Hi, In Ruby. Other news, Josh convinced me to let him go to that advanced screening of Resplendent Sword. He loved it, the brat. <laughs> but then he must have read the books cover to cover about ten times. He said, Get this. He said that it had a strong message about environmentalism and cooperation. You think the same people who left all those messes behind came up with that? <laughs> Critical rubbish. It has given him a newfound appreciation for the reserve, though. He's even expressed an interest in hunting for the first time in his entire life. Okay, Billy, that was not necessary. But he's not going to admit to that soon. They need a translator. I've done good this stream. I haven't even screwed up my words that much. Right through the heart, just shot me. Yeah, uh, you should definitely do that, Scarecrow. You should definitely do that. I'd settle for the retelling of this story on a podcast. This story? The moose story? I listened to everybody in chat, and then I got the mission done earlier, because... I thought I was on the moose mission, and I was not. The end. How do we get rid of cheaters from Hunter Call of the Wild? I'm not really sure there's a real way of getting rid of them, but... I mean... One of the things that we do, like, in my Discord is if there's obviously hacked animals, a really good indicator is... Well below level, below max level diamonds, so, uh, things that can't make diamond, for instance. There was a diamond level 3 mountain goat at some point. Like, that's a really obvious indicator that something was hacked. So, we just, like, remove those kind of posts from the Trophy Shot channel, because basically we're trying to make a point of not condoning hacking and stuff. The thing is, people do that in multiplayer. They spawn those animals in, and... Maybe players that don't have as much experience in the game or don't know how so some of the stuff works, they shoot them and think it's a legitimate diamond, and it's not their fault. So it's it's difficult to to best deal with that, I guess. We were here, I think on Twitch, a couple of weeks ago. One of these two pigs, I forget which we were after, actually evaded us, so maybe we can get the bigger one. Did that get a lung? Must not have. Still evading us. And that dude doesn't know anything is wrong. That one we got in the lungs. That guy's about to die. And these ones 
heard that, so I guess they're going to get away, but I think we shot the biggest that's out here. Um, I don't think that alert went off yet. There we go. My workout life. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, I'm back. Glad to have you back, dude. How have you been, and how's everything going for you? It's been going good. Been going good. Appreciate that. Uh, everything is doing well. Glad to make it to the live stream, even if I'm late. I'm glad you can make it. Still got a little bit of time left. I mean, we're still out here shooting stuff as we try to wrap up these missions. We may get to smoke some rabbits, too. I'm going to place a waypoint as close to that as I can. Because I don't know that I've seen the rabbits in those particular burrows. So I want to give that a look. We actually had to go this way now that I think of it. You can't cross this water. It's too deep. So that was just a good thing to shoot these ones. Missions. I forgot about the piebald female red deer already. Most of the time, if we do missions, whether it's on stream or in a video, we end up stumbling into something that's actually a non-mission animal trophy. 12%? Look at you go. You gotta get a charger that supplies just enough power to keep your phone exactly where it is. You can just stay at 12 forever. What's the next thing that they'll be releasing for the game? I assume a weapon pack of some kind. Um, we just got a reserve. Usually there's a weapon pack and maybe one or two other like smaller updates with that kind of thing. Maybe like a new species. We were talking about tar earlier. That uh, person's tracks for some reason has like a tar icon. So maybe they'll get released on this map. You never know, though. They do a pretty good job of keeping things under wraps. And they've said they don't want to promise anything until they know they can deliver. Which makes sense. So we don't know, but can definitely make guesses. Saw Melanistic Rabbit, never got it. Any suggestions? Uh, if it was in a, like an area like this with the burrows, if you go back, you should be able to get it. I don't see no bunnies hopping around out there, so let's pop two of the boars. Probably going to make some hunting pressure with the rabbits, so that's a good thing to get to. Jamie, thanks for the super chat. Been a fan for ages. You're the best. Well, thank you. Uh, could you make my dream come true and let me do a hunt with you? It would mean the world to me. I'm in multiplayer, like, all the time. So if you're on PC and you're... Uh, in multiplayer, which, oh, that's a male. Kind of a rare. Um, hold on. Let's see if we can... Eh. Angle was suddenly made way worse. We also <laughs> used the 243, which is less than ideal. Might have gotten it, because it's trying to run. I guess we'll find out. That's definitely not how that was supposed to go, but... Not a big deal, but anyway. Like, maps like Layton or Yukon are good ones that I'm on a lot, so... If you're hunting around there in multiplayer, good chance you'll run into me. Hmm. Most of these are hidden by the grass. And that is quite unfortunate. We had spotted a male. Let's try. Because they're... They'll let you get kind of close to them. If we go up and around... What if we the go up here? Up the the beach here? Yeah, it's fairly visible, actually. Speaking of resplendent sword, the protests have continued and the demolition of the commune made it into the local papers. I think she received a lot of support. Even from people I wouldn't have expected it from. It's been humbling. I'm not going to go out of my way to drop in on the town, especially now I'm so busy with the book, but it is nice to feel like you're part of a community again. None of these look particularly special, so... Yeah, there's maybe a decent two there. Don't know where it came from. Let's just go for that guy. And we're supposed to take a picture of this. Maybe I gotta do it from down there. Could be the case. I wonder if that pig died. Because I just saw... Oh, hey. <laughs> How you doing? Sorry about that uh, earlier. Things didn't go to plan. Says alarmed. 
think we might have just saved a gold. Bottom boy popping with the ooh. I think bottom boy might be the most creative emote user that I've seen. I love it. Where was the rabbit? There's too much, too much going on. It does not, Kyla. Slow mode does not apply to mods. Mod overrides it. What was it gold? Shot it in the liver. And then our black spotted level three piglet. He had a chance to make gold. Would be nice. I think we have a gold of both black spotted and pink. And it's the one with the fewer spots. It was a silver anyway. 243 hit too far back. Double lung did the job with the 303. So I don't think we'll save that one, but good to take a picture of anyway. Um, is that his... <laughs> Hold on. This is going to be difficult for me to do. One sec. Is that uh, Scarecrow's link there, bottom boy? Can do it. I just need to do the long way. Let's see if I can find you. Bottom boy. <laughs> And did I do it? Hope I did it right. Hope that was the thing you wanted <laughs> pinned as well. Black spot is a good look. It is. Um, I can Nick. Thanks for the super chats. What WMUD hunt PA? Uh, that gives away a little more information than I usually like to give away. So. Why would you? I guess I could have come down from the other direction, but. Click then left this stream. Yeah, if you uh. On mobile, you have no choice. If you right-click it and do open in new tab, on PC, you can have both open. Little closer picture, just for you. The heck? Well, I assume this is it then. Can you see animals? I'm just looking for, <laughs> for diamonds or something hanging out down there. I think we're too far away, to too far above the ground. Yeah, of course. Drones confirmed. I think I'm gonna invest in a drone for uh I heard a red deer call. Was that here? I think it was near where the actual camera was. Oh goodness. Why is it like that? <laughs> I don't have I have a mouse cursor. Is it gonna go back to normal? I mean this works. Anyway, what I was trying to get at was, for my Meat Hunters videos, I think I want to invest in a drone this coming season. Just to add a little bit to it. Was that another... Huh. Another male... That's the other black spotted variant. Alright, well, I don't know why my cursor's on screen. That's going to annoy me. What if I... Nah, that didn't get rid of it. Well, I still want to try to get it. If I can. Wherever it was. That one there. Slow down. Stop. We do have to go back to the trophy lodge quickly at two. Just for our moose. That is actually gonna drive me insane having that mouse cursor on there. I wouldn't have thought it was that big a deal, but I don't like it. Uh, 
I don't know what we hit, but that works. Tab out usually solves it. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, still there. Not a big deal, though. Like I said, pretty well done. Mini raid over to Scarecrow stream after this. What's he actually doing today? Is he doing Great One grinding, or what's he got going on? Yeah, I was looking into them, Bottom Boy. I, I want to definitely get a good one for that kind of thing. I've got some other ideas that I could potentially uh, get to use for it as well. Was what for Scarecrow? Eh, I'm clearly missing something, but it's all good. Put myself in timeout. There you go. The only appropriate course of action. I like how our binoculars just zoom in we our normal view. That was a gold. An in He's gone and up yeah, we have some of these before. Bread? Are there more missions? I, I the heck? fully expected this to be like the time he decided to take up playing the drums. Or his brief but intense flirtation with judo. But he seems really committed. I guess we've got you to thank if he ends up the next hour or ranger. I'm going to just head to the lodge. If she has more to say, that's uh, all fine, but... We're going to wrap it up there. Oh, he's on for Hunka and found a level 5 Kudu. Nice. Well, in that case, we'll get our moose hung up here on the wall quickly and wrap up. Grinding for Cape Buffalo. Is he just after a diamond one, or does he want a Bighorns level 9? I know I saw he was streaming that the one day, but I didn't get to see exactly what his goals were. Let's see if I can get this right. It's the left side. No, it's the right side. Confuse these rooms so much. Two hours and one minute, well done. Thank you. Would have been a lot longer if I tried to stock that moose that wasn't actually there. So we're going to take down this piebald silver. I think it was like three below gold. Which was close. Then we want our... We're in March now. Mocha gold. So, just there, we have Melanistic Gold, Mocha Gold, Common Diamond. Then out here we have a Albino Gold. And in here, we have Piebald Gold. Pretty cool. I like it. Mostly different racks, the Piebald and the Melanistic are the same, but everything else is different. That makes it even better. But anyway, uh, as I said, we're going to wrap up because Scarecrow is streaming over on Rahunga and apparently is a level 5 Kudu. Hopefully one that turns out like that fella right there. And uh, yeah, the mods are going to put the link in the chat. I think it's pinned there as well. Bottom Boy has that at the top, so be sure to check that out. I'll hopefully see you guys over there in a couple of minutes. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support as always, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!